we're going to take a quick look now at the Apple TV 4. Whenever we're going to be doing any sort of side loading or anything to do with Xcode, we need to make sure that the Apple TV 4 is connected properly to your computer. So we'll take a quick look at the new Apple TV 4, slightly bigger than the older Apple TV, and it uses a few different connections. If, you, if you're going to do any side loading, you need to make sure you've got the right cable. So type C to type A USB cable, which is this one. It's, if you can see, it's rounded at one side. So this one's a new type of cable. It's not long been on, been on the market. You can pick one up from Amazon for quite cheap. So you get yourself one of these cables and make sure you've got your power lead and you just connect your cables into the back so you've got your two cables in your power and your USB and you plug your other end into your Mac PC so we've got the light on we've got both cables connected and that's how you connect it to your Mac and now you'll be able to side load with the now you'll be able to sideload any apps you want to your Apple TV and this is how it's all connected. Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how easy it is to reinstall your applications back on your Apple TV 4th generation if you've updated it to the latest firmware and it's wiped your apps or you've just decided you want to update to the newest version, the latest version. First go to entertainmentbox.com and go to the help guys and click everything Apple. If you scroll down a little bit, you'll see download apps for Apple TV 4. If you click this, it takes you to another page. From here, you need to download iFunbox. So if you scroll down, you can see it here. This is available for Windows and Mac. You can click it here to download for Windows and here for Mac. So download and install that software that allows you to put the apps back on your Apple TV. So what you need now are the apps. So download the apps. This is Kodi. You can see it downloading here. I've clicked on the link. And there's also other apps, the provenance and the browser as well. So I'll download a few of these apps. I won't download them all. Um, there's a jailbreak brim release for 9.0 and 9.01 only. So this will only work for the earlier earlier versions of Apple software. There's not much to be gained from this jailbreak at the moment, but we'll go into that in a different video. So at the moment, we've downloaded the apps for the Apple TV 4 and we've downloaded iPhone Box and you should install iPhone Box. That's the program we're going to use next. So let's look for iPhone Box and we'll open open it so these i'll just show you where my apps are here's the app this is in my downloads folder you can see they've all downloaded now they've completed so we can go ahead and put the apps on the apple tv i've got the apple tv connected with the power lead and the cable that was supplied when i bought it from if you've bought your apple tv from entertainment box you'll have the right cable that connects it to your computer so i'll just move this over and i'll also make this bigger this is the screen of the apple tv 4 so i can show you what i'm doing and what happens to the apple tv i click on install apps i go to my downloads folder and i'll locate the downloaded app and then as you can see on the right hand side it's just popped it straight into it so i'll show you again i'll click install app go to my downloads folder and i'll put the browser on i'll click install and you can see how quick that installed the apple tv browser is now on there I'll go again, I'll go to my downloads folder and you can see we've got the jailbreak so I'll install the jailbreak so you can see the jailbreak's now on the bottom of the Apple TV page I'll keep going, see what else is here Cody takes a little while so I'll do that last I'll use provenance next so that goes on quite quick as well um, Cody takes a little bit longer as it's a bigger file so we'll just download that. That's going to take a couple of seconds to install onto the Apple TV. 
So you can use this method if you've purchased a service from us. If you've purchased an Apple TV service, um, we register your UDID number with Apple and that allows you to easily sideload these apps onto your Apple TV device. Or if you've purchased your device from us, your UDID number will never change. It is like your um, identification number for your device. So you can always use this method to install apps back on your Apple TV. We'll just wait for this to finish. It shouldn't take much longer. Nearly there. So as you can see, Cody is now on the Apple TV. I'll just make this a little bit bigger so you can see the apps. What I've just put on here, I'll just flick through them, show you. So this is a jailbreak, I'll click it, and you can see it says jailbreaking, and it's jailbreak successful. So th there's no real um, pros to the jailbreak at the moment. This is provenance, and this is Cody. The jailbreak, like I said, is strictly for developers at the moment, but it does pave the way for people to be able to install different apps on their Apple TV and maybe one day apps like Cydia where you can have your own private app store. I'll just show you the browser quickly. So you've got the browser. So all these apps can be added straight back onto your TV. So that's everything all done and back on your Apple TV in minutes. So thank you for watching. This is brought to you by entertainmentbox.com. Thank <laughs> you.